bring in Michelle Hoad now. She's CEO of the Medical Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario. Michelle, appreciate as always you giving us your time here. I want to talk about the new uh, pan bioantigen test in a minute, but first I want to get your thoughts on what you heard there from Dr. Uh, Anna Banerjee, ask, you know, talking about the consistency in testing that we haven't seen, not just in Ontario, but we're getting that sense across the country here. Talk to me about the importance of having that. It's not something I guess we can necessarily control. There isn't, and she's absolutely right. There's so many factors that go into that number. So we have talked in great length about, there are still many labs across the country that are working on getting instruments. There are many labs looking at increasing the number of tests in their lab. Um, we still are looking at reagent backups. There's so many issues. So seeing the numbers go up and down, especially in Ontario, I think our average is at about 59,000 we've seen. Mm -hmm. That we know we can expect. We're going to expect days where the numbers are a bit lower and we should see days where we hit 70,000. And we've seen that happen. Do you think that we're doing enough overall, enough testing? I think that uh, our core issue is our shortage of people. So mm -hmm. our medical lab technologist is a problem here in the province, but also across the entire country from coast to coast to coast. We don't have enough of them. Um, if we were all fully staffed, could we be doing double? Potentially, but mm -hmm. we're doing the best we can right now in our labs. Talk to me about now this pan bio antigen test, which is, we know it's being pushed uh, across the province in Ontario. Explain to us, if you can, how it works. And of course, we've got to bring in those variants and factor those in as well. So actually, some exciting news with that test. So Abbott, um, I just actually attended a session on this. They actually changed the nasal pharyngeal swab to just a nasal swab as of December 30th. Okay. So what that does is it now allows um, Anyone who actually is on a, so what you have to do is you have to work with the government to get in a program. So it's an employer run program. So let's say you're an employer and you get approved. You have to determine who can actually run this test for you. So mm -hmm. for example, they're doing them in schools. Mm -hmm. So they'll identify a healthcare worker or someone that can run the test. They're really tiny. They're actually the size of um, almost like a Band-Aid. And oh, what wow. you do is they're pretty tiny. So it's a swab, it swabs the inside of your nose. Um, it, a little drop of it goes onto this little Band-Aid and there's, a, there's two lines. One is line is you have COVID, one is you don't. So it is truly gonna make a big difference because the government has expanded who can administer those tests. Mm -hmm. So we should start to see things change very drastically in the next two months. You mentioned schools, and we know that that's now unfolding as well in uh, Ontario. Um, what do you think that is going to give us in terms of a more realistic picture of COVID-19 um, in the province that's happening in Ontario? But we know that now, again, there's a talk about testing in schools across the country. I think the testing in schools is absolutely essential. I think it will give us a good picture of what's happening in these congregate settings. Like everybody's concerned. Everyone mm -hmm. is worried about sending their kids. I've got lots of friends who are worried. Should they send their kids to school? The great thing about these tests is if they're run in the school, you're gonna know really quickly in 13 minutes if someone is carrying the virus, then they will react accordingly. The more tools we have in all of these settings, the quicker we can get back to normal. I had a conversation today with somebody saying, imagine if it looked like Mm. In a couple of months, you got a rapid test. So you went to an assessment center, you had a rapid test. Maybe they give you a card that says you don't have COVID today and it allows you to live your life that yeah. day. Imagine the places we could go shopping. Mm -hmm. Everything would change. I think the rapid tests are going to make a big difference in our province. Really quickly, Michelle, how much testing are you doing? Oh, I think we, Michelle, can you still hear us? Oh, unfortunately, we just lost her. That was Michelle Hode there. Um, she is the CEO of Medical Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario. Just heard her talking there about rapid testing and how that really could change the dynamic of how we're going to be able to do things in our daily lives as we continue to do what we can today to combat COVID-19. So it was great chatting with her. Unfortunately, we lost her there. All right, turning